Hi, welcome back to my channel, and in this video I'm going to do an unboxing. I haven't done an unboxing video in a while. So, I ordered this from Amazon, and let's see if I can open it from the bottom. Well, looks like I don't need my knife today. Um, I've been looking for this translation for a while. Um, there is a more expensive version you can order online from a different publisher, but this one's, um, the Dewey Reams, uh, Bible by Loretto Publishing. Here's the spine, Loretto, and then up here it says Dewey Reams, Holy Bible, and on the front it says Dewey Reams, Holy Bible, and this really nice looking cross, and this neat border design, and then... On the back, they put a sticker with the ISBN. Um, let's see how it looks. Ooh, that's a cool inside paper. With all the blue crosses. It's interesting. Um, on this title page, there is a an indulgence. Um, for those who don't know what an indulgence is, it's um, the Catholic Church uh, praying for Catholics um, to either shorten their time in purgatory or the time of purgatory for a loved one of theirs. Um, it's part of what caused the Protestant uh, Reformation was there was a, a guy going around selling indulgences, which led to um, Martin Luther doing his famous 95 Theses. But the Catholic Church was not... Uh, in support of people selling the indulgences, from what I can find. Ooh, I didn't know there was going to be artwork in this. That's cool, there's artwork in here. I wonder if that's Gustav Dory art. I wonder if there's a way to find out. Um... This is a reprint of a 1941 edition. This is printed and bound in the USA. Hmm. Here's another title page after the copyright page. Here's the copyright page. Um, Hopefully somewhere in here it will say where the artwork came from. Some of the things in here, um, here's the table of contents. Um, here's a, oh, a little bit better. Ooh. See if I can get that. Yeah, it's hard to get it to come in. Uh, uh. Anyway, here's some of what's in here. The preface, encyclical letter, Prayers for Reading Holy Scripture, a Historical and Chronological Table of the Old Testament, a Historical and Chronological Table of the New Testament, a Table or References, a Table of Epistles and Gospels, and then it gives the names of the books in the, of the Old and New Testaments arranged in their order with page references. There is a preface. I want to see when this preface is from. Okay, the preface that's in here is from 1941, and then there's an encyclical letter, um, and in there it explains how to study scripture. Um, prayers before and after reading scripture. That's kind of neat. And it looks like they're derived from scripture. Yeah, 
and here's how it's laid out. And this does look like Gustav Dory art because I've I've seen this 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 particular um, piece of art here in a Bible that has Gustav Dory art in it. So I do think this art is Gustav Dory art. Um, this has it's two column text. It's got a drop cap here for the uh, beginning of the chapter. It's got cross references and it's got Chandler's footnotes. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but it's got Chandler's footnotes. Yeah, all the chapter beginnings have uh, a drop cap and then there's like in the uh, 1611 King James, there's a uh, summary of the chapter before you read it. So that's cool. Um, I don't think this is going to be red letter. And I don't think the poetry sections are going to be laid out in poetry. They're not. It's all verse by verse. Um, so anyone who's familiar with the King James Bible and verse by verse format you should be familiar with how this looks um for those that don't know the dewey reams bible came out in 1610 the complete thing came out in 1610 um which is one year before the kjv here's here's how psalms looks to give you an idea of how it looks this is just an unboxing and first look i just want to see real quick um this is red letter or not. I don't think this is a red letter Bible. Okay, here's more of that your stock Dory art. Here's what the uh, historical and chronological table of the Old Testament looks like. It gives you the biblical event, and then it gives you events in contemporary history. Okay. And then it does the same thing, a similar thing with the New Testament, except it doesn't give you what was going on in contemporary history, but it gives you, like, um, from 1st AD, um, and then a table of references, which is a concordance. It's a concordance. So that's cool. That is really neat. It's not a very long one, but it is really neat. And then a table of epistles and gospels. So it's um, like a lectionary. It tells you um, what to read on particular um, days during the Christian calendar. It has a family records section. That's interesting. The family records section is in between the Old and New Testament. That's kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. It's got births and baptisms. First Communion, Confirmation, Holy Orders, and Deaths. And then, I think I saw, yeah, a title page to the New Testament. <clears throat> and here's how the New Testament starts. And this is not red letter, so... If anyone was interested, I doubt there's maps because this is a reprint of a very, very old Bible. So I doubt there's maps. No, there isn't maps, but there is um, okay, and they call the book of Revelation uh, the Apocalypse, which is what the title is in Greek. So that's interesting. Even though this is a translation of Latin, 
they give the Greek title. Interesting. And then there's some ads for some other books by this publisher. Like the Haydock, Dewey Reams Bible. I'm just looking at what these other books are real quick. There is a, um, a Latin New Testament in here that um, they have advertised as one of the things they have available. That's pretty cool. Uh, the Latin Vulgate um, New Testament. There's a commentary on the Psalms. Um, the parables of Jesus explained, and then it goes to the end sheets. Um, I'll do a more thorough um, video at some point. There's two ribbon markers. There's this gold one, which is kind of wide, and then there's a red one in here, too. So two ribbon markers, one for the Old Testament, one for the New Testament. Um, and it's a decent size. It's not... Um, Really huge. It's about the size of a normal, average Bible. It's the same size as the RSV um, Catholic edition I recently did a video on. But this is pretty neat. It's it's black hardcover, but it's got a texture that looks kind of like, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but it's got texture that almost looks like leather over board. But I don't think it. I don't think it's an imitation leather over board. I think it's like a, just some kind of covering that imitates the look and grain of leather. Um, and there was no wrapping or a box or anything, so I'll have to try and look up more information on this. Uh, yeah, this is really neat. It's got artwork in it. I wasn't expecting there to be artwork because when I ordered this on Amazon, it didn't say anything about, I don't remember it saying anything about there being artwork in here. Well, that's interesting. I just flip it open to the Psalms and it gives you the Latin titles for the Psalms. Um, oh. That's interesting. Let's see what it is for the title for Psalm 23. This is a And it's, here it is, it's Psalm 22 in here, um, so I think it's following the, I don't remember if that's the Septuagint um, Psalm numbering or if that's the Vulgate Psalm numbering, I don't remember. It's been a while since I looked at either of those. But the, the Psalm title in Latin translates into English, The Lord Reigns Over Me. Or, no, the Lord rules, yeah, the Lord rules over me. So, that's interesting. Hmm. I'll have to compare that to uh, my Latin Vulgate Bible I have. See how they're coming up with that translation, whether or not they're using a, a textual variant that I didn't know about. Oh, here's the other ribbon marker. So yeah, two, two ribbons. 
really neat. Um, I I would say get this this um, Dewey rings. I don't remember what I how much it was when I ordered it, um, but it was it cost less than the Baronius Press edition. Um, actually, I'm actually happier with getting this than I am with the Baronius Press edition. You know what I saw of the YouTube videos of that was really good. This is this is really cool. So um, yeah, I'll put the ISBN in the book description in the video description. Um, it's a really neat um, hardcover Bible. Really cool. So. Interesting. All right, I'll see you in the next video.